Hello, welcome to the bias um, at that once again. Well, today I'm going to continue my previous um, episode on success predictors. Um, we began by looking at, um, I think, four. I mentioned nine in the previous video. So today we'll be looking at one of them, and that is um, intelligent quotient. So one will ask, what is intelligent quotient? Intelligent quotient is like a number representing um, an individual reasoning ability. Um, well, this number can be obtained by some certain um, abstract reasoning problem, um, solving um, kind of test, and maybe games. Um, so, however, you know, intelligent quotient is actually a rough one because um, while it's, it's, it's proven psychologically that um, your intelligence as a person is um, contributed 70%, is 70% contributed by your genetic. You see, there is no proof that you can actually improve or enhance your intelligent quotient. Of course, that's a very serious problem because otherwise most people will actually want to improve their intelligent quotient. However, uh, it's been proven again um, that intelligent quotient can only be stopped from declining because from age one to age 20, Intelligent quotient keeps increasing, it just keeps rising, but at age 20 it begins to drop and quite rapidly. However, there are two types of intelligence before I go into what can stop your intelligence from declining. One is fluid intelligence, then the other one is crystal intelligence. Fluid intelligence has something to do with um, your ability to solve problems. In fact, it's your ability to manage new and novel information. There are people that when they have new information, they don't know how to go around it. But fluid intelligence makes it flexible. In fact, it's what is required when someone has built up himself in career and it's at the pinnacle of his career. However, the other one called crystal intelligence seems to, it's like accumulation of knowledge and experience. So that particular part of intelligence keeps increasing because each time in your life as you keep acquiring knowledge, you keep acquiring experience, you keep getting yourself involved in different things, so that crystal intelligence keeps increasing. So, but fluid intelligence increases up till age 20. Once someone gets to age 20, it begins to decrease. So how you cannot do anything to stop it from decreasing. However, you can do something to make it remain fairly constant at that age. And what's that? Well, it's exercise, weightlifting exercise, um, cardiac exercise like running, jogging, and doing other things that keeps pumping blood to the heart. So one will ask, how does exercise um, helps your intelligence? Of course, um, your mind is like a reservoir of thoughts, like a reservoir of processed thoughts, whereas brain is like the processor of thoughts. But however, the brain is powered, is energized by blood or oxygenated blood that flows towards it. So. You see, as one exercises, there is this influx of blood running towards the brain and oxygenates the brain. And what it does is to do what a process known as neurogenesis. So as this blood gets, as this oxygenated blood gets to the brain, it makes the brain to produce some nerves. And these nerves are like precursors to brain neurons, which are like reserved to enhance your thinking ability. So physical exercise can make your brain to remain intelligent quotient to remain fairly constant and of course that is one reason to do exercise so that you don't only jog you don't only do exercises to keep yourself fit you also do exercise to maintain your intelligent quotient now let's go back to the fluid intelligence of this i've explained before you see as one rises in his career as one gets towards the top of the career there is a need to ensure that your intelligence is very fluid because new information will come um, and you need to look for a way to navigate through this new information to still achieve the organization goal. When you get to the, um, the competence hierarchy in your career, new things will happen, new technology, new innovations. You need fluid intelligence to manage this. So IQ is one of the very vital predictors to success. I am not saying it's the entire because there are many people with very excellent IQ, but they are not successful, but it's one of the predictors to success. So if you want to succeed, the first four I have explained in the other video, you need to listen to them. And then this one I have explained, that's intelligent IQ. You need to help yourself 
in exercising to ensure your IQ does not drop. In the next video, we are going to look at how does IQ enhance intelligence. And if you look at people like Dan Gute, people like Jeff Bezos, people like Elon Musk, how is their intelligence quotient? What is the global intelligence quotient? And why is it that most billionaires in the world are not in Africa? Why are they majorly in Europe? I think that's what we'll look at in the next video. And we'll also look at the other predictors of success. Thanks for listening.